everyone, so it is day three of me testing internet DIYs, those kind of DIYs that you see and you're like, I really, really want to try it, but I bet it won't work. So I'm testing them all this week. If you haven't seen my first two videos, I will link them here and also down in the description box if you are on a mobile device. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button because it makes me super duper happy to have extra people in my little YouTube family. And also you can see the next two DIY videos tomorrow and the day after. You'll get a little notification like, boom, there's a new video from Jasmine. And as always, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up for me because it just puts a big old smile on my face. So today's video, I'm going to work on canvases. So I have two DIYs that I'm testing. The first is photo canvases. I'm sure you've seen these before. I have once a very, very long time ago tried this with Mod Podge and it failed so bad. Like I went to rub it away and the photo just came off. And I've since seen people using um, gel medium so I picked up some gel medium, and um, fingers crossed this is gonna work this time. The other DIY canvas that I'm doing is a crayon canvas. So I have seen these everywhere for quite literally years now. They are just everywhere and I love how they look. I just don't know if I can do it. So the basic idea with this one is that you stick crayons onto the canvas and then use heat to like melt them and they go down the canvas. So. We're going to be testing both of those today and I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so the first DIY is getting a photo onto a canvas. So you'll need a canvas, a printed out photo, which is actually meant to be printed out, like flipped the other way around, but I forgot to do that. So a photo about the same size as the canvas. Then you'll need, uh, then you'll need a paintbrush and some gel medium. I just looked this up on Amazon and I chose to do it in matte because I much prefer a matte finish. So I have my gel medium, and then you'll need a bottle of water so that you can spray it after it's set. So, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh, ew, my hands are already grubby. Oh dear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little bit of this gel medium, and we're basically going to coat this canvas in it. I'm like giving instructions as though I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. I don't know how thick you're meant to go. I'm gonna leave it at that, I'm gonna stay there. Then face down, you're meant to put on your photo. And I'm actually gonna do it this way. I think it'll be a bit easier for me. Okay, and then smooth it out. I think it went well. I have no clue. Okay, and then we just leave that to dry and move on to the next one. So the next one is a cute little photo of Nick and I, and this one's in black and white. And when it printed out, it's printed out very, very, um, what's the word, unsaturated. It looks quite faint, so I'm, not very hopeful for this photo. I have a feeling it's just not gonna work, but we're going to try it anyway. Out of all of the DIYs that I'm doing, this is like the most expensive thing to buy. It cost me eight pounds and I have hardly touched it. Like, like nothing's used. That's so annoying. And then we're just gonna leave it to dry. So that's that DIY done for now. I've just gotta sit and wait for that to dry. And meanwhile, we will get on to our next DIY. The next DIY, you're gonna need a hairdryer. So my hairdryer is over that side of my bed. So I'm gonna have to go and get that. All this, oops, which I have something in my eye. Ugh. There we go. So for this DIY, you're going to need a canvas, some crayons, um, a hot glue gun to stick the crayons across the top. And then you'll need a hairdryer to heat them up and something and I think I'm gonna need something to prop this up and today I have laid on the table lots of newspaper so hopefully hopefully I don't make a mess I'm actually quite terrified because what if you blow dry and then it just flicks off and goes all over my carpet I'm gonna be in big trouble okay so I think the first thing I'm gonna need to do is choose the order I don't want it to be too organized I want it to be a little bit you know mix and match just a little bit I think I've decided on the layout and now it's time to heat up my glue gun and glue them down just keep sticking 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 what do we do we stick stick oh, 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 oh. ah something's got me something's got you who could it be it's me or are you my conscience have my canvas of crayons all stuck on not too well may i add but stuck on and i also did a little layer of glue from the back here just just hold them on that little bit extra because i don't know how well they're gonna stay. The moment of truth, we're gonna get the hair dryer and we're just gonna start heating them up until they melt and I'm really nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. It's just gone all over my t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Does anyone know how to get crayon out of t-shirt? No, I should have worn, worn like overalls or something. No one told me this. Just to stop it getting ruined anymore, we'll put this here. I think I used a bit too much blue, but it worked and I'm really, really happy with it. It's not as pretty as other people's. I will, I will give you that. And also, this happened. So if you're planning to do this, wear an old shirt because mine is now covered in crayon and have a spare canvas to catch all of the stuff. But it's not that bad. Um, for a first attempt, come on. I think that went quite well. I just wish I'd used a lot more light pinks because I much prefer this little section as opposed to this whole mess, but it works. Okay, so I've left my canvases a few days to dry properly. I think they only need probably 12 hours, but I just didn't film over the last few days and I have a bit of a cold, so please excuse my voice. So now the canvases are dry, you're supposed to grab your water bottle, um, gently spray a bit of water on them and then just rub off the top layer um, and just just gonna go for this so make it a little bit wet okay so I have wet the image as you can see and now I'm just going to rub off the top layer of paper and just meant to rub really gently I'm rubbing nothing's happening <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. It's actually working. I'm gonna get back to you when I've actually finished this because this is taking ages to rub off. Okay, so I've just finished both of them. I'm so impressed it actually worked and I'm so, so happy. I mean, I wish I had a better photo on there, but the fact that the photo is actually on the canvas makes me so happy because I tried this ages ago, like I said, and it just failed so miserably. Um, little tip though, I do now have blue fingers, so maybe use a soft sponge or something and not your fingers. I'm so happy that this worked. I'm gonna do this with a giant canvas one day with a really nice pretty picture and just hang it in my room because it's so cool and so cheap. Normally to get canvases made it's like 20 pounds just to get a photo onto a canvas. So I'm really, really impressed that this worked. The next thing to do is to coat it in another layer of gel medium, which I have done with this one. And I'm just waiting for it to dry and obviously it will dry clear. And then I have two cute canvas photos, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun, especially making this DIY. I want to make so many of these. I really want to try it. You know when they have like a silhouette of a person here under, under a little umbrella and the rain kind of goes round them? I want to try that and I want to try it with like a rainbow and with letters in it. I'm, I just want to do this one over and over again. It was so much fun. And then with the canvas ones, I'm just so happy that they actually transferred onto the canvases. So. I'd say today's video has been a pretty successful one. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and watch my previous two DIY videos. I will link them down below. My fingers are so blue. Um, I will link them down below in the description box for you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do have a video tomorrow and the day after. So two more DIY videos, which I'm so excited to share with you. Give this video a big thumbs up for me because it makes me super duper happy and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.